I originally was like, I'm not gonna vlog this week and we'll see what clips I get in because it is Thanksgiving week, but I don't know, I just kind of felt like vlogging. Um, my husband isn't home, my sister comes into town tomorrow, so we're gonna spend Thanksgiving together. And then my friend actually just texted me today and didn't have anywhere to go for Thanksgiving, so she's gonna come too. Um, so that'll be super fun, but I just ran by Publix because I wanna make ramen for dinner tonight and I needed a few things. I also just needed a stock up on some things, so like I needed, um, these for my air fresheners. I wanted to get some English muffins. I'm out of CeraVe. I desperately need some dry shampoo. And then this is just a fun thing. Um, I really wanted some non-dairy whipping cream because it's the holidays. So I have been into um, hot chocolate. Mm, so good. This stuff is so freaking good, you guys. Oh my God. Okay. And then I got some Impossible Burger to make the ramen day. And that's it. My work, it was um, Nurse Practitioner Week last week, so my work gave me a wine glass, which is very nice. Nurse Practitioner NP. Good day, bad day, don't even ask. Very cute. I don't drink wine, um, but I will use it for like poppies. Yo, know, I got you present. I got you a baby. You hear Campbell coming? Okay. Hi, Dick. This is for Hoosie. It's a baby. Don't. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Campbell, no. That's for Hoosier. Come here. I got you a ball. I got you a ball. You're going to love this. Look. It's a ball, good boy, you sitting? Okay, ready? Good job. <laughs> Changed into comfy clothes. <laughs> I have my favorite Aritzia sweatpants on that I literally talk about all the time. I'm obsessed with them. I have my ramen cooking, it's almost done. And I'm watching the movie Love Heart on um, Netflix. It's a, it's a good Christmas movie and I'm in my Christmas era, obviously. It's almost, well, it's the Christmas season. Um, I am so excited for Dancing with the Stars tonight because it's um, Taylor Swift, Dancing with the Stars, like, and it's gonna be so fun, I'm so excited. Um, but I'm wanting to eat and then shower and maybe play with the dogs a little bit before I watch that. And I watch it on Disney Plus. So I can like fast forward it and stuff. My ramen recipe, I've showed you guys this recipe before, but it's just this spicy, um, easy vegan ramen on Pinterest. I have it linked on my Pinterest. I make it all the time. It's so good. And um, I technically have one more day of work tomorrow. I worked today and it was pretty good. Um, and we usually have a morning meeting. <coughs> Sorry, on Wednesdays that you guys hear me complain about probably every other week, but we don't have it tomorrow and my patients don't start till 9.30. So I'm excited about that. I'm gonna sleep in a little bit. And um, I didn't finish two notes, so I'm gonna finish two notes in the morning. And yeah, and then that's my last work day of the week. Working two days a week is amazing. Goes from five days working a week to four days, still complains about it, and then goes to two, and I would still complain about it, but. Anyway, let's eat some ramen, watch a Christmas movie, having a time. This is the ramen, so good. I'm gonna take a shower. And then I need to film a TikTok. Um, I have been wanting to film this TikTok for a while now, but how to write a good soap note, I feel like I, I really like my soap notes and obviously I like them, they're my soap notes, but I feel like the world could use a little bit of um, direction on those or at least I could have as a student so I'm gonna make like a TikTok video about that when I'm done showering. Guys I'm headed to work it's nine o'clock um, it's really nice to head to work at this time I was able to get some stuff done um, I had two notes that I needed to wrap up from yesterday actually three but one of them was super easy the other were new patients who were extensive so I never leave it till the day afterwards, but I did today because I knew it was gonna have some extra time. Um, because we didn't have our morning meeting that we usually have on Wednesdays that you guys have heard me complain about forever. I hate that morning meeting. I think it's such a waste of time. Um, 
we didn't have that today and so my patients don't start until 9 30 on Wednesdays and they didn't schedule patients earlier so yeah a win for me um, I have a bunch of televisits today I assume because people are you know getting ready to leave and go out of town so I wish I could work from home <laughs> um, actually working from home is kind of a nightmare for me with my dogs but some days like it would be nice to just like not have to go into the office but I'm headed in I have a full freaking day of people booked don't be mad at me whatever <laughs> hold on a second I got an order <laughs> okay you guys work is done i'm headed to pick up my sister i grabbed myself a little hot chocolate for the drive because i had a little bit of time to kill and i didn't want to go home and like get my dogs all riled up and then have to leave again so yeah made a little starbucks run work was really good today um, a lot of patience for the day before holiday but um it was good i got all of my notes done and we're leaving we're off the next freaking four days I'm working two days a week you guys two 10-hour shifts is Amazing, it was amazing. <laughs> Alright you guys, good morning. I hope you guys had a great Thanksgiving. Um, it's Friday morning, I just dropped Camper off at daycare, which is much needed. To be completely honest you guys, Camper is the hardest dog I've, I've only ever owned two dogs in my life. One of them being Hoosier, which is the other dog that I have right now. And then my childhood dog, who was literally the neighborhood dog, okay? Like, I lived in rural Virginia. He did not stay on our property. He just, like, wandered everywhere. He had the time of his life. He was never on a leash. Um, just stuff like that. But anyway, Camper is the hardest dog I've ever owned. He woke up this morning at 7 a.m. You know, I four days off, I would love to sleep in a little bit and is like so i put him outside he's barking constantly he wakes hoosier up it's just like and then my sister is here and she goes out and plays with him because she woke up and he's barking continuously at her and like it's so frustrating i'm like we've used honestly we've used a shock collar before it's just dead right now and it it doesn't shock him immediately it just beeps at him and then if he doesn't stop barking, it will give him like a little jolt, but it's not anything like have it literally on the lowest setting. But you guys, he is so vocal. Hoosier, it never barks unless he's like barking at the mailman, you know? So anyway, I'm like frustrated this morning, but it's Black Friday. I think we're gonna do a little bit of Black Friday shopping. I just wanna spend some time with Hoosier really quickly because he is going to be alone all day and he's like really weird when he's alone all day he's like where is camper and what's going on <coughs> um i'm still freaking sick i need to get myself like some steroids or something <laughs> i don't want to be on steroids though but i cannot kick this inflammation that i have in my nasal cavity um you know what i'm honestly not doing anything about it i'm not taking a zyrtec i'm not using flonase i'm <laughs> not on anything because my husband when he left he took the Zyrtec so I was taking it for a few days and it was definitely helping and then he has really bad allergies so he took them with him and I have nothing I haven't gone to the store to get myself anything and it's just been like <coughs> oh my god it's just been a frustrating morning time with my Hoosier my sweet angel boy who I never get mad at <laughs> We put up all of the Christmas decorations last night, you guys, um, outside of my house. I haven't gotten my Christmas tree yet, but I'm considering getting it. But I feel like my husband will be a little upset with me if I get it without him because we always get the Christmas tree together. So I don't even know if he really cares or likes it, but we do always get the Christmas tree together. So I'll wait it out. He doesn't come back till Monday though, which is what pissed me off and I have to work on Monday. And so I'm like, okay, the next time that I'm gonna be able to get this Christmas tree is next Friday, a week from today. And I want a Christmas tree now. I think we're gonna go to the International Mall in Tampa, which is like the best mall, but I'm sure it's gonna be freaking nuts. It was like OG. Two videos where people would do Black Friday hauls. I go Black Friday shopping every year. One, just because I love the festivities. The sales suck. Don't get me wrong. The sales absolutely suck. First up, I got a pair of sunglasses that I have been stocking for a year. I cannot find any Amazon dupes that were similar, so I'm so excited to have these. I don't know what it is about these. 
I just love them so much. I think they're so cool. I love them. You guys know how much I love Abercrombie. Literally everything that I have or own is from there. I think they had a 20 or 25% off sale and then you got a little bit extra if you were a member, which of course I am. First up, I got this gray sweater. I got a tan sweater. I don't know, I just think this is so cute with like a pair of black pants. I swear by Abercrombie jeans, their curve look fit me so much better than any other pair of jeans I've ever wore. So I picked up just kind of like a darker pair. I feel like I have a bunch of light pair. I got the 90s Relax in a size 25. Next up was Nordstrom. They had no sales, okay? I pair of Hoka's. These are my go-to work shoes. They're the only work shoes that I wear. These were not on sale at all. Oh, I've never seen a pair like them before. And look how cute these are. They have the option to either like put these as shoelaces or you can put regular shoelaces on them. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do. Next up, I went to Aritzia, which is just my new favorite obsession. They were doing like a 10 to 20% discount, which is so crappy. So I got this set. Oh, you guys know I'm, I'm in the gym all the time. And this is like this like burnt orange that you can either wear in the gym or you can wear as athleisure the pants to go along with it and they're like yoga flare leggings so like silky buttery soft i'm so excited to wear these next up i did some home shopping so we stopped at pottery barn and i've been needing a new christmas tree topper because mine has been broken since i had it like five years ago it's metals on my tree so this was absolutely perfect and you guys i got it for 17 dollars that was the best deal of the day. Also yesterday, I got a completely new set of pots and pans from Caraway that I'm super excited about. I used them to cook breakfast this morning and I'm already obsessed with them. So in order to not mess them up, I also picked up some stencils to use because I have metal and wood and you can use wood and silicone on them. So I just need a new spatula, soup spoon, and a whisk. I feel like I can officially say Merry Christmas, you guys. I'm going to get my Christmas tree today and obviously I'm gonna make a video about it. So I'll see you guys then you guys it is sunday i took a little break um over like the holiday weekend um to vlog i did get like a few clips i think of thanksgiving and what i made and maybe some of black friday shopping i don't really know um but it is now sunday i just dropped my sister slash cousin off at the airport and then i ran to trader joe's because Trader Joe's on a Sunday in Tampa is awful. It's probably awful everywhere, but the Tampa one has particularly terrible parking. Um, so I was like, you know what? Let me just go get my grocery shopping done at Trader Joe's since I'm already down here. And it was even busy. It's literally, it's 8.45 right now. Um, I have not had coffee, so I'm just gonna run to Willa's Coffee Shop, which is like, or Willa's Provisions, which is one of my favorite coffee shops in Tampa. Grab some coffee and then go home. I think today we're gonna do like a full Sunday reset and then um, I wanna decorate my Christmas, I mean my house for Christmas. I got my Christmas tree yesterday. I'll show you guys when I get home. It's so cute. Um, I do kind of wanna run to maybe like Michael's or something because I have been seeing the, uh, um, the ribbons on the trees and I think that's super cute and maybe something I want to add this year I'm not sure I also am thinking of okay you have plenty of room you turned around enough now go um of doing like some oranges and doing just like a very simple natural looking tree because I'll show you guys when I get home but um my tree is very bare I like to be able to like see the um the stem it's not a stem it's a big thick stem I don't know what to call it um but anyway I'll show you guys that let's just go grab some coffee and then we'll go home I got a vanilla oat milk latte they're like they're still in their fall menu stuff and it's like a sweet potato I don't know syrup that they have as their seasonal and I was like yeah no that sounds disgusting to me I'm um, just filling up with some gas and then we're gonna head into Michael's really quick and then go home. Just got home and put away most of my groceries, but I wanted to show you guys some of the fun things that I got. So, um, like I said, I went to Trader Joe's and then I also went to Michael's. So, um, I got these Trader Joe's candy cane JoJo's. They are so good and they are like accidentally vegan. I love them. I don't know. They have like little pieces of candy canes in them. Like, I'm usually not a peppermint person, but for me, I personally love these. These are also like my favorite protein bars from um, Trader Joe's. They have 15 grams of protein in them, 
and they taste really good. So I'll pick up, I pick up a few every time I go to Trader Joe's. And then, I don't know if you guys know this, but I'm obsessed with seaweed right now. Like, I love it so much. So it's, and it's so cheap at Trader Joe's. It's like 99 cents, whereas a pack like this is $2.99 at Publix, which is absolutely absurd. So I stocked up on those. I just left a few out to show you guys. Got some oranges because I'm going to, um, dehydrate some to put on my christmas tree and then these are my favorite candles from trader joe's the cedar balsam so i got four of them <laughs> to burn throughout the holiday season and then at michael's i got some um ribbon i just got this cute little like velvety cream ribbon and then a gold one some thread for the dehydrated oranges and then I needed some safety pins half of my clothes don't fit me and I need to safety pin them because I'm just not ready to get rid of them so I got some of those I feel like adulthood is not being able to do anything unless your house is completely clean so what I'm going to do is I'm going to de dehydrate the oranges first and then I'm going to clean my house put away my laundry I did laundry yesterday and then we will decorate for Christmas <laughs> I just like have to have a clean house like a clean slate and it's not that dirty. There's just kind of stuff everywhere from, you know, Thanksgiving, from having people over, and I just, I need to clean, I need to clean. Mm -hmm. 